Hey guys, what I have here in my hand is a Henry H001. Now I've never heard anyone call it an H001 unless they're trying to sell it to me. This is just a general run of the mill lever action 22 standard Henry rifle. It was my first, actually it was my first 22 I ever had. Great gun, very reliable. But um, I'm not here to talk about the gun. I'm actually here to show you guys how to make a speed loader for a tube magazine. And this is just so happens to be one of my favorite tube magazines rifles that I own. So this is what I'm going to use. Now guys, before we start making anything, I just want to talk quickly about like um, some handling and safety issues with potentially what we're doing here. I don't think that um, dropping it, dropping a round could make enough force to cause a round to go off, but in theory it could. So quickly, just for those who might not know this, the way a 22, or I'm sorry, the way uh, rimfire works is that it's not a boxer primer or primer at all, it's really just, well, that's not true, There's, there has to be primer in there, but it's not like a circular primer, like a center fire, it's not like that, it's a rim that gets crushed on the edge and that creates a spark which ignites the primer which throws the lead down the barrel. So um, anytime there's going to be impact on the back of something like that, you don't really want that really unless you're trying to shoot it, you know, you want the firing pin to cause pressure, I'm sorry, impact. And shoot it, but you don't want to it to misfire inside of your gun, you know, inside of your tube or inside of your contraption that we're making now. You don't want that. So just be gentle with it, kind of angle it a bit and just gently lower those in because it can tap. Don't get, don't be frightened. It can tap, but you don't want force. You don't want a force. So um, just be careful with that. Be mindful of that. Just as a little disclaimer, I don't want anyone getting hurt. Okay, so um, cool. Alright guys, so what we're going to do here is you can make these out of lots of different things, honestly. You can make these things out of probably conduit, you can make them out of um, PVC. What I have here is just really perfect size for 22 long rifle, is a aluminum arrow shaft. So um, these are long, you don't need them this long. I guess you could do it, but there would be a lot of play, the bullets would want to sh shift back and forth, so I'm going to cut mine down. Um, you have, you'll have to find out how many rounds your rifle takes. Mine takes 15, so I'm going to cut this so that I can have as little wiggle play as possible. I don't want anything moving around, or as little as possible anyway. So I've already measured this. I have one that's kind of sitting here, but I'm going to make one again for you here. It's not difficult, but just to show you guys. Um, I'm going to go with 15 and a half inches for 15 rounds. That's how I'm going to do mine there. So what I'm going to do here is there's a little piece here that if you guys do decide to keep the whole arrow, which again, I don't recommend, but it's an option, at least cut off an inch so, so you guys can get inside, because there's a little, there's a little bushing, I guess you would call it, that you, they put in here that's threaded that allows you to thread in your, um, or screw in your arrowheads, your broadheads or your field tips, so cut that off if you do decide to keep the whole shaft, but again, not recommended. I think, where's my, here we go, okay, so I already have a measurement in my head, but you would need to measure off the rounds and the, uh, um, you know, put a rim to nose, rim to nose, rim to nose, and measure it out see how many inches you need or how, how long. I'm going to measure off 15 and a half right here. So guys, if you have a Henry and you're doing this with the exact same gun I have, I am doing you a favor here. I recommend checking my measurements just in case because I would do the same thing. I would not trust the person on the video to do my measurements, but I will not be offended, nor will I know if you guys decide to do that. So I recommend it. So I'm just going to make a small incision there to mark my spot. Okay. Now oh. Alright, so now I'm going to put this in my vise. And I recommend using a vise because it just keeps it nice and orderly for you so you can work and put some little muscle onto it. But do not tighten it too hard. This is aluminum, which is already a fairly softer metal than I mean in I guess that's relative, but it's a um, softish metal. It'll bend easy and uh, you don't want to clench that pipe. You don't want that, you don't want this hollowness to be um, tightened at all. You want it to be the same circumference all the way around. Or else you're going to have pinch points and that's not good. So I'm going to saw this in half. Pretty that up if you want to. I don't need. There is one thing that's important though is that once you cut that, there's going to be burrs on there. Like you can see, that's a pretty big one actually. I'll have to fix that one if I want to use this. But um, there's going to be burrs that aren't going to want your bullet to go down in there. You can push it, 
and pull it, but that's not good. You don't want that. You want a clean flush flow through in and out of your tube here. So you're going to take a little needle nose file here and or anything like that and just kind of file the inside of that down and scrub away those burrs. You don't want anything like that. Constricting movement. There's going to be a little particle, so don't get that shit in your eyes and just blow into that like I just did. Um, okay, so now you should have a flow through. It shouldn't be any burrs. Just rotate around, feel that, make sure it slides in and out good. And there you go. So now, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to drop, and I'm going to, I already have one full, so I'll just switch that, actually. So what I'm going to do here is you have to think about how you want this to work. Your rifle, and this is obvious, I'm just stating the obvious here. Um, your rifle, open action, guys, clean, safe gun here, safety's on. Your rifle wants to accept these rounds always, always lead facing towards the muzzle. So the way this rifle is loaded is I'm going to twist this off, pull out my ramrod here, and there is a little incision. I hope you guys can see that the sun here. It might be kind of hard to see on camera. There's an incision here where the, it wants the lead facing up and the rim facing down. So I want these to load the exact same way. So I'm going to load to the top here with my speed loader though here. So here we go. So my point there actually guys was you want to load your rounds. I'm going to pull a few out and show you how I'm doing this. You want to load these in, not backwards. You want them to go nose first in. Again, like I said, just kind of angle them. I, that would not be good to ignite all those. Just kind of drop them in there. So that way, when you tilt it upside down, they're all going to go into the rifle the way they're supposed to go. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'm going to, you don't have to do this. If I was in the field, I would be doing this, but just for the sake of safety's sake, since I'm in my own home, I have neighbors, just I'm going to be as safe as I possibly can. I'm going to open my action here. I am going to put an angle there, and I'm going to load those rounds, just like that. Shake it out. That's all. Close my action. Safety is on. Hammer's down. And where's my ring rod? I left it over here. Push those in there, and just like that, I have a loaded rifle. Now, um, could I have done that faster? Absolutely. That's the point of a speed a speed loader, right? You know, I mean, I, technically. I would not be using this if I were in a tactical situation where I would need to load something fast. That would not be my weapon of choice. But if it was, per se, devil's advocate, I am fighting with my Henry Lever action, I could do that much faster if I wanted to. So um, I would make a couple of these. And what, what I had was, um, what I was using, guys, was I had a Gempler, uh, oh, what do you call it? These little foam. Oh, don't do what I just did. Oh, that was dumb. Push those. Yeah, tell your gun upside down so they don't try to come out that little hole. I knew not to do that, and I did it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that's... There's always going to be one that's going to push out there that's going to catch inside the action. So don't think that just because you poured them out, they're all out. Always check your gun. And I will... I want to jam that later. Don't work the action with your tube out. I, I, I'm I doing things I really shouldn't be doing. I know better. But anyway, I'm sorry. So what you're going to want to do here, guys, is I had a Gempler earplug in there. You push it in and it expands, and it was holding up pretty good. I shook it around trying to get it to, you know, fall out because I want to see how much pressure it can hold, and it did pop out. You could probably shove a stick up there, like just whittle a stick down and put it in there. It'd be just fine. Find something, some way to hook it up there. I also thought if you still had the knock on there, like on this one, you could put like an empty 410 shell on it and then drill some holes and then take a rubber band and push it over and then hitch it inside here. I don't know if you guys follow me or not. I just thought of that while I was setting up the video, so I guess I could have made that, but I didn't. There's plenty of things you guys could use to stop the hole. Simplest, I say, whittle a stick. If you want to get elaborate with it, you possibly, you definitely can, but um, endless possibilities there, guys. So um, like I said, be safe. Uh, you don't have to use arrows if you don't want to. If you wanted to make a um, pistol cartridge one, because I know they may, I, I know Henry makes them, and I know Winchester might make them too. Just really fun, you know, two bloating guns that fire pistol cartridges. You can make it to size. Just um, be safe when you do that, and um, I hope this helps, guys, and uh, have fun.